Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. We're shifting into an active weather pattern that's going to give us a variety of weather here over the next seven days, which isn't all that bad, which means no extended periods of, of hot, dry weather uh, with lots of changes on the way, including more rain, more scattered thunderstorms overnight tonight and through tomorrow afternoon. Isolated severe storm can't be ruled out. And then Thursday, still the pick day of the week, nice, seasonably uh, cooler, tolerable humidity, a day to take advantage of because the heat and humidity come back for Friday and especially on Saturday when another round of scattered storms develops ahead of a cold front moving through late on Saturday night. But we needed the cold front today, one of the hottest days of the year so far. Highs were generally in the mid-90s. Santa Claus a little cooler at 92. Carmi a bit hotter at 98. And Mount Vernon, Illinois hit 101. That was the actual temperature, not the heat index. A triple digit to high there just off to our west. Our heat index did top out between 100 and 105. Uh, this afternoon, but tomorrow will not be nearly that hot. On the alerts map, we got a strong storm uh, crossing I-57 and a severe thunderstorm there right along the Mississippi River. Take a look at that on live Doppler radar. The immediate tri-state, not too much going on right now. A little shower just to the east of Mount Vernon. Some scattered storms approaching the trade water there from Providence up to Sturgis, but it's this little wave of storms coming out of southwestern Illinois that may have some gusty 40 mile per hour winds with it, and it's going to here more to the east southeast so the heaviest rain here as this wave comes in during the next one to two hours will likely be across southern if not southwestern portions of the tri-state where an isolated severe storm can't be rolled out but good deal of rain or at least some rain for much of the tri-state today uh, you can see amounts were a little lighter in western Kentucky and in the metro. Evansville had about a half inch, not quite as much in Henderson, though southern Henderson County got quite a bit. And even less in Owensboro, generally less than a tenth as the heavier rain skirted the city limits. Here's the day playing out in Evansville with just your typical sunshine with all the heat and then watch the storms come in from the north late this afternoon. Uh, pretty impressive uh, well, wave of wind out ahead of the storms and the actual rain. So we cooled down about 30 minutes before the rain arrived. And now we're at 75. South-southwest wind at 6 with temperatures kind of hanging between 70 and 75 degrees. And they will more or less hold steady all night long. So storm tracker showing this wave of storms here. More scattered storms are firing along the cold front up here in Iowa, northern Illinois, and all this moving our way until the cold front comes through later tomorrow afternoon. So Storm Prediction Center keeping that marginal level one isolated severe threat southwest of Evansville overnight and then pretty much area wide tomorrow and the threat would be a little bit of damaging winds. So future tracker showing the scattered storms overnight, especially southwest of Evansville continuing tomorrow morning. Maybe a little bit of a lull at lunchtime and then more firing up along the cold front in the afternoon after high temperatures in the 80s. So not as hot, but it will still be very humid until the cold front comes through and that will knock the humidity down for Thursday. So the pick day of the week, upper 80s, tolerable humidity and then back to hot humid weather on Friday, but we'll be dry with highs around 90. So scattered showers and thunderstorms overnight, low 70s for tomorrow. More scattered showers and thunderstorms ending late in the day. Not as hot, still very humid. Thursday's your pick day of the week. We're hot and humid Friday. Very humid and hot Saturday with the scattered storms developing in the afternoon. Ending Saturday night with much better weather Sunday. Less heat and humidity. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, Wayne.